Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Getaway. I am the Black Shadow. Last time we managed to save um, Joe from the uh, hit that was placed on him, courtesy of um, frickin' McCormack, who is now dead, courtesy of Mark Hammond. Uh, it turns out, it seems that uh, things are, uh, well... Quite bad with Charlie. It looks like he's got things all over London, all all over it that is, uh, he owns. All right, Grant, he's been he's been doing this for a long, long time. But even so, so now what we've got to do, folks, is we have got to um, uh, Frank has decided he's going to start raiding some of these places that Charlie owns. And the first place that's going to be on his list, uh, apparently, is um, some warehouse in Summit. Oh, that's not good. I, I hope the cameras didn't see that. Oh dear. Well, who knows? They might think that they might see the car and think, "Oh, Bethnal Green, bastards." I might get away with it. You never know. But anyways, folks. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is, like I said, head to this uh, depot. <laughs> the only thing I'm sort of trying to wonder, folks, is um, I'm trying to think. Well. Whereabouts are we in comparison to Mark's room? I mean, think like a couple missions ago, obviously, we, we broke um, Charlie out, out of um, jail. Um, we, we were at Dorrant and Taylor when the ambush happened. We now, you know, McCormack's just died, so... What happened after that, folks? Whereabouts do we think that, um... Oh. Whereabouts do we think that, uh... Mark might be at the moment, huh? Hmm. There it is. Well, let's not worry ourselves about that, folks. Let's make our way into the, the depot, and you guys will recognise this very quickly. These two look suspicious. I would not have been Hammond's shoes. Me either. I don't want to go anywhere near that cellar. Hmm? Don't know, folks, but stealth, by the way, is the order of the day here. Believe me. Stealth is the order of the day. Cigarettes go north, the perfume to Ireland. Look, I've no idea. Charlie said he wants the drums of a soul beer. Drums? Fertiliser drums? Why? I don't know why he wants fertiliser on the boat. I get paid to mind my business. <laughs> Do you get paid to be stupid? <laughs> Maybe he wants to grow seaweed. You tell me, genius. I don't know, but I like the sound of it. Uh-oh. He better not freaking see me or I'll put a bullet between his eyes. Now, nah, trust me, you're okay in that corner. Somehow. Love that line, though. You get paid to be stupid. Love that line. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness sakes. You worry too much. Just do what he tells you. Ugh. That's not fun. Now, you have to go in through this door, folks, just so you know. There's someone there. Trying to let Eric give him a good going over. Harry's a psycho about Hammond. You're telling me. Hmm. Huh? We get away with getting rid of this guy? I think so. He always finishes things with a sword off. It's his signature. Yeah, freaking madman's what he is. It Ah, I'm guessing someone saw the dead body. <laughs> Whoops! Two seconds. Alright, should we try this again, folks? Now, I'm sure we do have to go this way. Pretty darn sure of that. Did 
the sawn off, he always uses that. Ah. Where's that going, eh? Right, now how the heck do I get closer? Surely they're going to see me, aren't they, if I go that way? Right? Surely! No? Yeah, guess where we're heading? Into the cellar. I'm sure some of you are piecing together where this is going. Bring the motor around. They're nearly done here. Is Jake riding with us? I'll find out. Ridiculous that, it just takes him out instantly. Although to be fair, I've never exactly been pistol whipped on the head, so I don't quite know how it feels like. I assume it's not too pleasant. Right boys, let's go and lay the table. Yeah. Jake Jocks. How many lives does he have? It'd be like the old days again, lads, where everyone showed a bit of respect. It's about time we showed everyone in this town who's the fucking boss. Once we've had a spring clean and tied up all the loose ends, it'd be safe to walk the streets of London again. We'll meet at the boat. What fucking boat? Are we going to drop him in the river? I'd like that. I've always wanted to do that. No, boy. We're going to do him in style. Sparky, God rest his soul, knocked up a little something for us. You like explosives, don't you? Oh, yeah. Well, thanks to the brow, the bomb's on board. I need you to go up north to the depot and bring back the remote detonator. What's he doing up there? Come here. Use your fat head, son. I don't want that remote anywhere near the bomb until kaboom time. You got that? That thing starts counting down as soon as I press it. Nice one. Jake, don't fuck about, son. Press the button and the timer's set. Release the button and the bomb goes off instantly. So be fucking careful. You leave it to me. And when we're safely ashore, sipping pina coladas, click. I'll put them all out there, fucking misery. <laughs> it ain't a toy, son. When you get there, bring it straight to me. You here? What about the kid? We'll get the boy. All aboard the good ship Salvia. We're gonna show him what this country's made of. What we fought for. London was built on the Thames, and that, my son, is exactly where it's gonna end. Jesus, Charlie Hammond was right. You are a bloody drama queen. <laughs> Come on, Harry. Let's lead the lambs to the slaughter. <laughs> now I'm truly yeah, he was. fucked. Committed every crime known to man to get my boy back. And I'll find out I was just a pawn in that mad maniac scheme. But those fucking dry boys are really gonna enjoy feeding me little fish. You did better than most. Looks like everyone underestimated you. It's me who's messed this up. I'm supposed to be good at this, remember? Instead, I've been caught like a rat in Charlie's trap. Yeah, well, at least you tried. At least I had one other person on my side. I just wish I had a little more time to spend with Alex before. I've been banged up for nearly all his life, and when I finally get out, this shit happens. I saw your kid. You did? I don't know why I'm listening to this. We've all heard this before. I, I, I don't it's really okay. know. I mean, of course, this is the uh, we've now re no. This is the this is the point where finally, sort of um, well, I suppose you could say um, Frank and Mark's uh, paths actually sort of tie together. I only saw him for a second, anyway. You could technically say that sort of happened earlier, but as far as what we're concerned, this is where they finally meet up. did better than I did. I didn't even get close. A fat slag would probably blow up half of London, and I'll take the rap for that as well. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Are you two just going to sit there feeling sorry for yourselves, or do you want to stop that little Hitler? I know you. 
You're that copper from the prison van bust. He's filth, Mark. Frank Carter of the Flying Squad. That's right. And only a fucking choice you've got right now if you don't want to end up wasting away in the nick. Yeah? Well, why does Bill want to help me? You can make a name for yourself just by turning me in. I know what he's up to, Hammond. I heard the old thing. I need you alive to ruin his plan. You're no good to me dead. Besides, you won't last a night in the cells of this town. Not after Snow Hill. Don't no trust way. him, Mark. He's filth. Look, as it is, I'm a dead man. And so is my boy. You give it to me straight, Carter. What do you want? I'll take that as an agreement for now. For now you're working for me, you do what I tell you. Don't fucking do it. Everybody knows he's just obsessed with Nick and the Jolsons. Do you blame him? You get me out of here. You let me and her get my kit to safety. And I'll do whatever you want. Whatever it takes, Carter. You in? I'll help you. But don't trust him. He's no better than Charlie. That's good enough for me. Right, I'm going to blast this door. When I do, I'll we'll break loose upstairs. I'll try and cover you from up the hall. Take this shooter. And try no, and I out. don't know where that comes the from. the kids still at Charlie's Gap, but you better hurry. Is that my spare one? Call me on this number when you've got him. I'll cut Jake off. Remember, Hammond, you owe me. You owe me your life. Get one thing straight, Carter. I want Jolson as much as you do, but we get my boy to safety first, all right? OK, Hammond. Now stand back. I'm going to blast this door. Now, if you thought this bit was nasty, doing this with um, Mark and Yasmin, doing this bit as Frank is even worse. <laughs> Oh, did I put guns out? D shoot him for goodness sakes, Frank! What was that about? You go for the pacifist style here. Bit late for that. Police officer, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, this place is not fun. I've had to do it a lot of times because of that. I have done this so many times now. It is a joke. It's... Woohoo! No! That sucked. I, f I think he kind of cheek shotted me there. It looked like it looked like he managed to shoot me without, aim without aiming his gun, basically. Bastard. Why am I not allowed to like, just shoot him, for goodness sakes, game? Stop behaving, please. Shut up. You're under arrest. Under arrest? Bit, uh, uh, no, it certainly is a bit late for that. That is why two pistols are amazing, though. Oh, boy. They are really are the shit sometimes. Oh, watch out. This could get sticky. Oh, shit. Shit! Oh my goodness me! Someone's taking shots at me, but I can't turn to face them yet. I was trying to heal. But yeah, that's the problem you tend to have here, folks. Is what happens is it's sort of once you get to a certain bit, you basically more or less everyone in the entire complex just rushes you at once. Which can be quite difficult to um, to maintain. Um, it can get really, really tricky to work with. Ow! Oh boy, what am I doing? Oh, what was that? See that the gun ran out. Ugh. I told you this is not easy. Well, I suppose I did get to show you one little thing, folks. If you actually come back here... Little, um, interesting little tidbit here, folks. If you come back here... To the cell that they were at... You actually find that you've got, um, Mark and Yasmin actually standing here, which is... Kind of cool. 
They don't do anything. They just sort of stand there the whole time, unfortunately. But um, you know, they don't come out to like help you or anything. Oh my goodness! Sit down. But yeah, they just sort of stand there the whole time. What will happen though is if you actually like end up shooting them like that, they will actually try and shoot you back for a little while. But um, yeah, you, you know, just a little tidbit there. You can actually kill them as well, but uh, you will fail if, if you do that. So please don't. Where do all these guys come from? I swear, this is like come out of nowhere. It's like all the guys that were meant to rush me, but they've just come down here instead because I came down. I don't really know. Or maybe they're just surplus to, um, you know, surplus because I walked down there. Right, let's try and take this a bit more carefully this time, shall we? We'll play the range game because the range game is usually pretty productive. Someone there. Hard to tell. There is someone there. Oh, it doesn't explode. Huh. I was trying it earlier to see if it would explode, not, but it doesn't. Drop it. Fuck oh, problems. Ooh. So that app place is absolutely crawling with freaking Bethnal, I swear. Really is absolutely full of them. It's just so annoying how you got Mark and Yasmin just stand up, just stay in that freaking cell and don't do anything to help. Really frustrating. Goodness sakes. Right, well, we came out the back with Mark and Co, so for this time round, we got to go, um, go in through the front. That was an informed decision. Uh oh. Yeah, sit down, mate. Get another line of work. Yeah, is he really? <laughs> Amateurs. Uh oh, watch out. That's flying squad training. Well, that's where you ran off to. Wondering where he went. Right. Oh, what's the police doing? Where did he come from? Who knows? Oh, I'll tell you what, if he don't need it. If he's gonna, you know, if he's gonna be the courageous Stay one to raid the, um... I'll deal with you, Jake, and then Charlie. Yeah, if he's gonna be the courageous one to raid Charlie's depot, then he won't be needing this. Right, well, the plan here is simple, really. As we said earlier, Mark, of course, uh, Mark and Yasmin go to um, Charlie's mansion to get hold of Alex. Whereas we are going back to Charlie's depot. Uh, the one at King's Cross. Because that is where Jake's gone to get... Oh! Because that where is where Jake has gone to get hold of the detonator. And we are going to chase him down. I hate narrow streets. So narrow. Are, are, are these people like seeking death? Are they really seeking death? I mean, I've heard of lunatics. And then you got these people. I mean, I honestly, folks, those people in the city of London are not usually this bad. 
I'm really serious, folks. Yeah, let's really put our foot down, shall we? There you go, that's some proper speed. Whoa! Oh no, of course I'd shove it straight into the lamppost. I, of course I'd do that, folks. Do you expect any different of me today? Well, I'll take this as far as we can get it. The judge here at this speed's pretty damn far. We might get this most of the way to King's Cross. You never know. Because what well, it is, we're here. At, we're basically we're here at Snow Hill, for goodness sakes. Oh. Hello, need that. You know, Frank, there's no need to hold him at gunpoint. It's a bit unnecessary, that. I mean, you just show me badge. They don't know you've been thrown off the force. And you didn't exactly give it to McCormack, did you, so... Oh, game. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Right, here we are, back at Charlie's Depot. Although, we're not here to shoot the place up, folks, believe me. As much as we'd love to. Charlie wants everyone down at Soul Come on, get on the flat so I can nail you. Yeah, scumbag. How do you like that? Start loading up, we're moving out. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll load the van. Looks like they're busy down here. Getting ready for a war. <laughs> oh, he's gone on over here. AKs and shotguns and war prisons. Oh goodness sakes! How about Angie, lazy bastards? We could go up the PCSS with this gear. Goodness me, they they are loading for bear, aren't they, folks? Oh, we aren't going that Take way. Take your time. Let them get the gear loaded. Jake catches us. <laughs> Slackers. Carter. Hammond. I'm at the depot. Jake's just about to leave. He's got Arthur Bethnal Greenwell with him. I need some backup. I don't give a shit. Charlie's just took off with Alex. You get the flying squad. I've got to get my boy. I'm off the squad, Hammond. I'm suspended. My boss, the bastard you executed, he belonged to Charlie. Unless I get the Jolsons, I've got no way of clearing my name. So what, copper? Don't tell me your troubles. Every cop, every villain in London wants me dead. And I've got to get my boy. You agreed, Hammond. It's you and me now. We're going up against them. You don't owe him anything, Mark. Listen, Hammond. Jake must be heading for the meeting. Charlie intends to sort out all the loose ends. Yeah? So where's he going? To some old cargo ship called Soul Vita at St. Saviour's Dock. He's going to take care of everyone. Are you winding me up? What's he going there for? What do you think? They're taking your kid there. Charlie was going to deliver you to all the other gangs. He's out to finish it. Charlie's going to blow the whole thing sky-high, Hammond, so you better get there. Shut it, copper. 
I'll keep my word. We're on our way, all right? Right, go for the kid. I'll go for Jake and the detonator. On our next video, folks, we are hunting down Jake Jolson and surprisingly enough and somewhat quickly enough, the end of the LP, folks. So, I'll catch you then.